Okay. Okay, test, test. Should be okay. There we go. Okay. Tried to draw McDonald's, it did not work. Womp oh, womp. Alright, let's get this started. I literally have to turn down the music in my ears so I can, like, kind of hear myself talk. I do apologize for that. second. My name is Paolo Jossa. I am the YA librarian here at the Govins branch of the Enoch Pratt Free Library. I'm going to lower my sound in my ears a little lower so I can actually hear myself talk. I don't have a monitor on this thing. I do apologize. Uh, I wish I knew how that worked. I don't. I'll figure it out somehow. Anyway, welcome to Micro Drawing Lessons Weekly. It is the first session of National Poetry Month. Which kind of means nothing, uh, at least in the context of this program, but it just lets me, lets you know that we do have a take and make available in the Govins branch where you can create your own blackout poetry. I wish I had brought my example upstairs from upstairs, but it's actually stuck against like the glass plexiglass thing that's between my desk and like the public. Um, and to that end, that's kind of what we're going to be focusing on today. So, um, it's the new month. Um, oh, I forgot to do the thing. Okay, so, up around me uh, in this uh, Chrome window <clears throat> is the event details for um, this Manga Drawing Lessons Weekly. We do have like a starter 
a sketchbook starter kit and a whole bunch of drawing supplies that you can grab from me at the, circulate, at the adult reference desk at the Govins branch of the Enoch Pratt Free Library upstairs, because we are currently filming in the auditorium, uh, which is neat. Uh, we're actually, we actually opened the place up for a big program on last week. So yeah, last Saturday. Um, and it was really fun. Uh, we had a whole bunch of uh, kids playing around here, um, interacting with a um, basically a guy with a guitar and a slideshow that supposedly um, did fun camera tricks, which is really cool. Uh, but that's for little kid stuff, as opposed to teen tween stuff. Anyway, so the point of this lesson is to help you guys learn how to draw anime and make hair step by step and step by step in weekly sessions. We're here to build up a bind of your best drawings and become a real artist, which is why there's a sketchbook starter thing up front in the circle, um, up in the um, bu -bu 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 at the adult reference desk. I'm pointing like this way. Uh, it's supposed to be this way, but it's pointing me to the left. No, to the right. No, uh, this is correct. It's like upstairs somewhere. Anyway, um, and we're at that point. The lessons are going to be in this Google Drive uh, right here. And I think it's going to be this one of these um, QR codes right there. Go, go, go point your camera at that and go like go to this this thing. Anyway, so. These QR, uh, QR codes are kind of the reason why we wanted to start a fun, a similar project today. Uh, much in the same way that we needed to uh, create. Uh, hold on, I actually, uh, it's actually up here on my. Um, the same reason why we need to create. Um, there we go. Hold on, come on. So the same reason why we needed to create um, this, this, uh, which is basically the thumbnail for all the YouTube uh, live streams. I don't know where my hand is going. It's kind of going into empty air because I'm trying to point to this thing. Is it this way? More this way? More this way? Yes. All of this. Um, the reason why we created something like this is to be able to advertise like this program a little bit more because it's kind of a weekly thing and I kind of want to keep it going. Um, and so, like, what I did was create this character. Um, what I want to do is essentially um, kind of remix this character and um, add her to these QR codes, uh, as you see above, as you see above, so that, um, what's it called, I can advertise uh, this program a little better. Um, I'm thinking of like, not quite a sticker, but like, <laughs> oh my goodness, that would be great actually, if I can make QR codes of the Manga Drawing Lessons Weekly YouTube video and just sticker them. Oh my god, that'd be so fun. Uh, I wonder if I can do that. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Uh, anyway, um, I wanted to take this character. And the project we're going to do for this month, at least, um, is I'm going to try to take this character and incorporate them to... I do not need a new Bitdefender antivirus-free version. <sighs> I thank you, appreciate it. I don't need it right now. Anyway, I'm hoping to get this character onto the QR codes in a more interesting way. Like, maybe um, they're like leaning on it. Like doing the, uh, you know, uh, the type thing on, like on it, sitting on it like a box or like a chair or something, or maybe eating it or, um, I don't know. I'm trying to like think of like brainstorm kind of different ways I can have this kind of pseudo mascot. No, <clears throat> it's not a pseudo mascot character. It is a mascot character. <laughs> this mascot character to... Um, be a part of like the QR code so it'll be more appealing um, and I think like I should be able to or rather I'll be able to be more do fun things like uh, say 
um, go through like the steps of character design like we did last month or rather last session um, and try to add a little bit more uh, to what's oh, called add it to something that's more physical specifically or rather more project based as opposed to oh just draw a character randomly um, let's get started anyway so uh, we're gonna go here for a bit and this is just like the sketching thing that I usually do um, in order to warm up in this um, live stream and what we're gonna need is uh, let's see what we're gonna need is to add the actual can I import this as a layer no you know what I can open it I can simply go to my downloads folder. Oh. Uh, we're gonna be doing the um, the uh, YouTube channel QR code, and what that does is just open this as a separate raster layer um, in a different file. We're gonna go ahead, and click copy, and we're gonna go here, zoom out a bit, and get paste, and there it is. Right at the very bottom in terms of, oh, you can't really see it right here, but I'm pointing to like the layers here. We're not gonna worry about that for now, but. Bum. Okay, we're gonna do a the layer underneath that. And essentially, um, so this mascot character is something I want to be able to draw interacting with this QR code in some, in some way. Um, my first initial thought was just to, um, kind of sit on it like a box or something. Um, yeah, let's sketch that out. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hop on over to, um, Google Chrome and try to, um, find a reference photo of, like, a person sitting on a box. That's a surprising number of... Ah, that's actually perfect. Okay, perfect. I'm looking f I was actually looking for this exact type of... Um, exact type of... Um, image. We're not going to copy it. We're only going to... Um, kind of... Here, let me show you. Oh, let's see in the top left corner of here right now right here but clickety 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 get down here get down here Up. so the ideally what would happen is they would sit right on this uh, right on this box uh, but they'll be much, much smaller. So let's go to the layer property. Nope. Quick access. That's what I wanted. Scale and rotate this bit. Kind of like, uh, kind of like this. And then this bit is yes, apply transformation. Hold on. I'm going to want to try something fun. try to see if I can scale and rotate this so that it's um, Layer. 
this on top here. And you'll see this was just like a silly idea, but now that I've seen it, uh, hold on. Uh. So the main issue here is there's a lot of white space uh, behind this particular like anime figuring, and we're gonna try to make that disappear using the uh, what's it called? Auto select tool. I think in uh, Photoshop, this is called the magic wand tool, which makes sense because if you look at it, it looks like a magic wand and it kind of magically selects the entire background. Now that we've selected it and we're in the right layer, we're just going to hit delete. Whoop. Goodbye. Deselect it. Ah, it's kind of messy. But we... This is literally just like a model. We're not, uh, we're not doing quote-unquote anything with it. This is like genuinely perfect, actually. I I didn't mean to like hit like hit a strike on what's it called? It hit a bit of a home run in trying to find like. Uh, so if you can imagine like the box behind her and they're just sitting on it, and then she'd say something like, uh, "Oh, uh, eh. scan." Uh, And this is just going to be a big blah 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 blah. Um, again, this is a sketch. It's not supposed to look like this. Uh, just a big uh. Speech bubble, speech bubble. That's what it's called. God, mm. my brain, my brain. It's not on right, unfortunately. So, this is basically the main gist of what I want to do, except instead of uh, using this anime girl, I'll probably just use like the poster, a uh, poster, rather character that we had. Uh, although I do need to test one more thing, uh, and that is if Google Lens still works on this QR code. Yes. Perfect. It absolutely does. absolutely does that's bananas thank goodness um so i should um lean into more detail what we did here in um digital image editing software uh, essentially what we took is we took an image and transformed it um or rather uh, yeah free transform but essentially changing um what's it called that uh, was called changing the various um sides to well basically instead of a square become a um angled box thing that would fit uh, angled um diamond shape angled diamond shape just like this one uh in order for it to fit like a box and with this it kind of makes the illusion that uh, somebody's sitting on it and then yeah, we're just going to do that which is going to be great that's going to be great uh, I can't believe I found a model there that quickly. Essentially, um, using that tool helps uh, create um, what's called a sense of three, what's called sense of, not scale, a uh, sense of depth much easier. Like, I think one of the tricks that I found on 
Oh, I actually know where this is. One of the tricks I found in creating backgrounds done by Thomas Romain of the um, of Oban Star Racers is like, he's French. He's a French dude who lives in Japan, does a lot of anime. Incredible painting on YouTube, by the way. Um, especially because like he asks his sons who are like half Japanese, half French to make up monsters for him and he does he transforms them into these actual creatures and beasts and it's really really cool. Uh, anyway, one of the ways that it's easy to create um, say like backgrounds and stuff in perspective would be just to like for example like this is like the main road and you just create buildings and stuff like here there's a town and a church and like a little vista here and etc etc and in order to put it in scale put it in like a perspective grid i put it on like a perspective grid and then take that flatten it so that it's like you have a better sense of understanding of where the buildings lie and all that line all that and then just uh, and then like expand it out this way using another expanding thing so you can kind of make and more easily like create buildings in a sense of scale in like your backgrounds and stuff. Now this is to create something completely imaginary, um, rather off the um, completely um, new. You don't actually have to do that much easier to just get like a reference picture, tweak it, add more lines and just add to it and manipulate an image instead of like from scratch creating an entire background. Not impossible, but main thing with art like this is work smarter, not harder. Um, if you can find shortcuts, you can find cheats to go around it. So long as you're not like what's called forsaking your learning of the medium uh, in order to make something, uh, you should always do it. Uh, what's it called? Always feel free. I don't say always feel free to cheat when it comes to art because it's kind of do here. It's kind of really gross. But like, always feel free to like find things that work for you, shortcuts that work for you. Because art, uh, in terms of like visual learning, is always just what your shortcuts are. It's really really fun. All right, there's no one in chat right now. That's unfortunate. Uh, I hope the teens that I pinged on uh, Discord actually see that we're doing uh, we're doing stuff online. It'd be annoying if like nobody nobody comes and watches my live streams. Boo hoo. That's fine. What's it called? They they do actually see it. I make sure to ping them. Besides, we're just using this as like kind of a mock-up anyway. And this is what we're gonna do. That's the new layer. So from here, we're gonna take uh, the selection pen and we're gonna make it a little bigger so we can do this. Shloop, 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 shloop. Handy mighty selection pen. Shloop, 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 shloop. And then, copy and paste, deselect. Then, 
Oh, this is all we really need. That's a little small, but we can make it bigger. Uh, let's see. Okay, we're going to make a completely new um, illustration with this one in mind. So what we're going to do is we're going to hit File, and we're going to click New. Um, oh, you know what? I just noticed. Uh, rather, I just noted. So, the traditional art version of this is basically like, um, what's it called? A collage. Uh, you're taking things out from like the internet or from like magazines that you're allowed to take things out of, and then copying and pasting them or adjusting them literally to like fit, uh, to you know, to create a pattern or to create like a like, um, like, I want to say, I say a, like a lookbook, um, a reference. There it is for the thing that you want to do. All right, we are going to. Do, 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 do. I don't want to make sure this is big, big, and we're going to. So, so it's going to be a uh, vertical, yeah, horizontal. Vertical, x-axis, y-axis, z-axis, uh... I'm not to sound like an anime character, but my left eye isn't giving me trouble. It is seeing into the future. It's not seeing into the future. Yes, it does. Heck yeah. Alright, so, uh, this is exactly what we're looking at. Um, or rather, um, we're going to, we're probably going to take, like, a newer version of this and, like, uh, slap it on here. For now, what we're going to do is we're going to make this a little smaller. Now, I believe the easiest way to do this is to put it at the bottom layer. Okay, so background, and we're gonna need to make a box. Box. I know there's a. Uh, there it all up. You were right. Uh. Only got them. We're just gonna make it in red for now. On one hand, I kinda wanna make, like, something more funky than just a box box, but I kinda wanna make something more funky than the box box. So, I think the polygon. We're going to uh, point here, and then here. Oh, hold on. Uh, nearly got it right. Not quite. play with this around some more but it's not working for me so what we're gonna do is we're going to do a polyline which I think should just do this this then straight down stuff into there we're not we're, we're probably going to take like the original uh, QRC code and basically do what we're um, like slap it on there 
probably add some embellishments, maybe, just around the side, like, pretend like it's a piece of paper or something, or like a, a scary looking box or something, but again, details. Right now, the next thing we're gonna do is, uh, kind of trace over, like, this, um, what's called this figure's body. Um, as you can, as you remember, um, this, uh, drawing basically had her with a hoodie. Um, I still like drawing hoodies, they're fun. Um, and I kind of don't want to directly steal, like, this version of, let's call it this, um, this outfit. Like, like the character that I've um, quote unquote created um, doesn't have um, doesn't have like canon canonical shoes. Um, I wonder what I should uh, make for them, or if I should just steal the shoes from this uh, anime character. Kind of look like bucket shoes. I oh, know they're basically school shoes. Tracing, rather, essentially, you know, tracing over this particular character, you can kind of see how, like, the very basic shapes are used to create a more complicated one, uh, especially, uh, and that helps inform, like, how, like, the creases on the shirt is, where the creases on the shirts go, uh, where the sleeves are, and especially uh, this one, like, how the skirt lies flat on both the, um, both on the um, figure and the box. Um, and you can do this in your preliminary sketches as well. It doesn't need to be like, oh, fine, fine detail. Um, basically get what we need, which is, um, which is basically a very, um, basic, like, basic, um, model on a box. We can hope to, um, advertise the pack drawing license properly. Uh, to to see in terms of what we can do here.
<laughs> uh, have you ever looked at somebody's art and immediately realize, oh, so that's what they're into? Um, when you look at their style or like um, their oh, what um, it's called, how they draw certain things, and you're like, oh, that makes sense, type thing. Yeah, that's about right. Right. One layer of abstraction. Uh, that's a fun way of... Never seen that one before. So you learned something new today. That's fun. <laughs> okay. Use this as like a point of reference to make it smaller. Side there or something. There. And so we've decreased the layer of this initial. Realize I'm just a poor girl. Why did I make her butt so dumpy? Probably more like this. There we go. So, I think one of the dangers of doing something like this is you're essentially copying from a copy. And if you're, or rather, if you're, you've been experienced in any kind of way with regards to, um, again, like quite literally making photocopies, uh, many photocopies, or using a copier, you'll know that there is like a degre degradation. A degradation effect when it comes to like if you get like like a picture and you copy it and you photocopy the copy and you photocopy the copy of the copy and you photocopy the copy of the copy of the copy um it became it becomes less clear it becomes more grainy it becomes less uh not less authentic rather it becomes less it has less fidelity of the original image um which is why in art terms for example what i did was essentially take a model um take the like basic uh, pose and model of like an anime character which in and of itself is probably based on like a pose and model of like let's say like an anatomy type thing which in and of itself is based on a like the actual person sitting down that sort of thing you're essentially making a copy of a copy of a copy in terms of what you're learning for anatomy for what you're learning in terms of um like art so when you're doing studies don't study from something that's been exaggerated of exaggeration of the next exaggeration or like a shortcut of a shortcut of a shortcut rather go to the real thing uh, and so what that means in terms of pose modeling and anatomy is like um, actually s like draw people, real people, and try to see how like oh, this is always a fun one how people um, where people put their weight in terms of when they're standing when they're sitting. Um, for example, I'm sitting like this. I'm putting my weight on the back. You probably can't see it, but when you're st when I'm standing, I tend to favor my left leg. So I'm standing, um, I either, if I don't notice it, I basically keep, I'm standing on my left leg while my right leg takes the support role, um, and when I'm, like, leaning on something, it's usually leaning back, and the left leg is, uh, main support, um, like, supports me more than my right leg, which is why my left leg is a little shorter than my right leg. Years and years and years of doing that. Anyway, so, observation from nature is your best bet when you're trying to learn, actually learn something. Um, learning from like books and stuff is the next, next best thing, but I do recommend just, you know, drawing actual people, drawing real things to have a better sense of reality so you can exaggerate it and turn it into anime, which is always fun. <laughs> Anywho, where were we? What is this layer? 
Oh, this is a layer that's on top of... Yeah, okay. Uh, let's see. Since this is a fully fledged layer, we're gonna make it a little bit more, op a little less opaque, more translucent. Uh, because what we're gonna do is we're going to... I've sworn that I had the sub view of this already. That's the... Hold on, hold please. I'm trying to find like the actual like, mango drug. Yep, there it is. Thumbnail PNG. Ta-da! Now that because we have enough space, we can actually keep that here. Um, so when I draw on my 15-inch uh, like pen, pen display, really nice by the way. I highly recommend it. Um, I don't have as much space as say like this. 24 inch screen, like 2K screen that I'm currently uh, using. Actually, I'm kind of... Actually, now I'm curious how big is the screen? I know this is a Dell. <laughs> a Dell. Uh, I take fire to the rain, watch it burn. screen and it's 27 inches big. Oh okay, I thought this was only a 24 inch screen. My bad. It's much bigger than that. Which makes sense. It is pretty bonkers huge. No, oh, where's my Getting distracted by all of my friends' texts. <laughs> Alright, uh, we are going to switch to a slightly. I don't like this one better. Oop, don't like that better. Tapered pencil. Nine. Pencil. Oi, disappeared. for that. Um, I don't know what I chose in terms of like, the face or nose. Uh, let's zoom in and see what we did. 
So you're, I'm essentially trying to, what's it called, um, take this mascot character. I don't even have a name for her, honestly. Um, Gwen. Gwen? Yeah, sure. Gwen. You take this mascot character named Gwen, apparently, and that was just too sharp. Nope. nope. I do. Probably change her um, face, rather. Gwen, you can't see the behind Gwen's ears, but I guess they're just like ears like this, I guess. Yeah, regular, regular ears. Just like me, they're always sleepy. Apparently they do. <laughs> Can never draw the hair right. This is my own character. How am I? How am I having this much trouble? <laughs> oh heavens, help me! Though so there were like the two bangs here, and I guess. There's also like the third and fourth bang. Right here. Ah, there it is. I think I've got it. Uh, Banks here is basically going to. Uh, oh no, I deleted the eyebrows. No. Banks here is just basically going to frame her face. Uh, just like Ramona Flowers. <laughs> Then 
There's the bangs here. And there's the side of the face here. There is, whoop. Oh no. That's huge. No need to be that huge. Face is a little more squat than this like anime girl figure thing that I've done. So I knew this is just a sketching phase. You know what this reminds me of? Like... Blossom. No. Butter. No. Bubbles. From... I was gonna say Teen Titans. Bubbles from Teen Titans. No. Bubbles from the Powerpuff Girls. Not the new one. The old school one. The better one. This is just like initial sketches and stuff, so no details thus far. still be anime without having overly huge alien eyes. And It's just essentially like a sweater all the way down. 
nice and foomfy. What's it called? Uh, did I add a like a hand hood? No. I can add one. I have the master of this realm. There, now there's like a little like you know the hand thing for like a hoodie. There we go. Now, here's the fun part. Uh, I basically only drew the upper half of this character. I also need to do the hands. The, do the hands later. Um, I'm not really sure what to do for like the bottom half. <laughs> I am half tempted with a skirt. Although I am tempted to do also like the full, like the full sweatpants combo, because I feel like that's <laughs> like what's it called? If you know like any professional artists uh, that are not like full superstars or anything, like you know that they're they love being comfy in their hoodies. This looks wrong. Basically, they like to be comfy, just like me. Uh, weirdly enough, I feel more comfy in like a leather jacket, to be honest. Uh, hoodie is fine, but otherwise a sweater with like a slip up next is more my speed. But I'm not quite sure how to do the bottom. Not yoga pants, obviously not. Skirt is fun, but not real useful. Jeans would be the best way, but I think I will just go with like the sweater, uh, sweater thing, because that's always fun. save this for now, and since we're basically five minutes away, I do need to, um, start fixing up. Um, we're gonna continue working this next week, but essentially, uh, we've already gone through, like, the design of the character design. Kind of have a better idea of what the character looks like because we have a reference from ourselves. The main bit now is trying to build up from, like, the reference that we have, specifically, um, what their pants look like if they're wearing pants. Uh, or rather, if this character wears pants. I like to think so. It would be more interesting that way. I'm still, like, debating what I want to do with this box here. Uh, torn between it being, like, a cardboard box, um, like, or a creepy wooden, like, pallet crate type box, or a treasure chest, or something fun like that. It'd be interesting if it was a treasure chest, but I think I'll just keep it as a box of some sort. We'll find out next week. For now, uh, we're going to go ahead and close this. Um, let's see. Uh, it's, uh, okay, we're going to go ahead and close this now. Uh, well, let me very quickly go to this section so I can go back to the lessons quick. Transition back here. Turn off the studio paint. Uh, confirm changes. And save. And then turn it off. Turn it off. Like a light bulb that goes click. I guess I want to be synced with the cloud. Sync the cloud, but sync it. Cloud. Anyway, that's going to be it for uh, Mega Drawing Lessons this week. Um, hopefully, I'll be able to like finish this and actually post it 
um, up in the circulation that I was caught up in the reference desk where I am, just so I can say, hey, well, we made characters like this and show you how to draw them step by step, because that's what we're literally doing. We're drawing the characters step by step, from like figuring out references, from models and all that, to, um, well, actually like drawing it, or drawing the mascot. So, let me transition into the stream. Thank you uh, once again for joining us in uh, Manga Drawing Lessons Live, or weekly rather, here in the Govins branch of the Enoch Pratt Free Library. Again, all of this information is available on the QR codes that you see here. One should be for the YouTube channel and the other should be for the uh, Manga Drawing Lessons um, Google Drive that you can uh, use to find the lessons, share them, and download them as you see fit from the books, from the manga books that we have in the library. And yeah, thank you for joining me, guys. Doodaloo!